Hey everybody, my name's Hyma, and y'all are watching God's House. Now today we got a very special video planned for y'all today. But first, I would like to say, uh, I would like to tell y'all to pray for the people in Ukraine right now. They're going through a lot. I know that this is not going to come out till like a week or two, uh, from the time of this recording. But they're just going through a lot right now. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, let's get to our Bible verse, which is... Ah, uh, wait. Sorry. Press the wrong button. Proverbs twenty one twenty one. He that followeth after righteousness and mercy findeth life, righteousness, and honor. Well, let's break that down. He that followeth righteousness and mercy. Well, what does that mean? That means that we need to do our own research sometimes into things. And sometimes we need to just enjoy what we have. Sometimes we need to enjoy the things that we have. Live in the moment sometimes. Don't always focus on the future. But, uh, and then you'll find, uh, righteousness, after righteousness and mercy. Yeah, so if we're not, uh, if we don't have, I look at it like this. If we don't have, if we're not happy with what we have, how can we be happy towards others? Or how we can we show mercy and kindness towards others if we're not happy with what we have? Yeah, and uh, and that's how you get uh, find righteousness and honor, and live it in life. Yeah. So uh, and listen, I know that sometimes we can disagree on things, even as uh nations, as people, just we can disagree on things. But there's a difference between disagreeing on something and uh killing somebody because of some reason. To me, that just blows everything out of proportion. Like, to me, uh, I shouldn't be worried about, oh, are you going to hurt me if I say this, that, or that? Or, you know, I shouldn't be worried about that. Don't get me wrong, I should worry about, like, your mental health and how that would affect you. And there are times for thing to say things and then there are times not, not to. But sometimes we don't know the difference. And sometimes we, uh, it's like we, we want to isolate. We don't want to know the truth sometimes. Sometimes we want to live in our ignorance. And, uh, yeah, so, and I pray that God blesses y'all who watch this. And that, uh, he, well, he blesses all of us, basically, because we all need it with this global pandemic, with these threats from Russia with this invasion of Ukraine, with these threats from the U.S. With Russia hasn't really been making any threats as of the time of this recording, but it's been the U.S. and other countries. Yeah, so, uh, you know, we we need to be there for each other. And I'm sorry, I kind of went off track, but let's get back to the Bible verse. And, uh, yeah, he did not follow after righteousness and mercy. Now, what does it mean when it says righteousness? To me, it means, like, are you, are you wrong? Or are you, uh, or, uh, do you want to know the truth? Or are you trying to find out the truth for yourself? Or are you going to just go along with what people are saying? Because there's a difference in between somebody that's trying to be correct all the time and somebody that just don't know what they're doing and wants to keep on just not knowing what they're doing. Yeah, and I also, uh, I don't know if uh, this is going to affect to touch my angel stuff. I also have it, haven't been working on that lately. I'm going to be uh, reviewing a movie uh, soon, if it works. If not, it's back, down. it's back to Touch My Angel. But I'm going to be reviewing one movie, then I'll go back to Touch My Angel. And for those of you who don't know what I'm doing, well, what I'm talking about, I do Touch My Angels videos every uh, Tuesday, except for uh, on the Tuesdays I have movie reviews. And right now, uh, I'm not sure if the movie's going to even work, so I don't even want to say the name of the movie. But it's an old CD, and uh, for those of you who are like, well, why don't you just have Netflix? Well, uh, a, cause I blew the money on, and half the time I didn't use it or my Netflix stuff. And uh, 
there is no BOC. But yeah, I just didn't find that the Netflix, and I don't want to support, uh, uh, like, I, like I'll be care I want to be careful what organizations I support with my money. But maybe I could do a pure flex, I don't know. The, anyway, that's, uh, me going way off subject right there, like, man, let's do, let's bring it back, uh, to, ba to the basics. Okay, so, uh. And sometimes that's what we need to do. We instead of all of this complicated stuff, we need to go back and be like, "How do I feel about this? Or why am I doing this?" Sometimes, sometimes we don't know why we feel this way. We don't know. We don't know. But but until we go back to the basics and find out why do we feel like this? Why does this happen? Um, uh, you know, uh. Sometimes we just need to slow down and think about things. And sometimes, don't get me wrong, sometimes it is good to distract us from the problem. But sometimes we, we need to focus on the problem sometimes. And sometimes we, uh, we're we not thinking straight and we can't right now. And maybe it is a good idea to just focus on the problems later. Yeah, so, uh, I just pray that God uses me and continues to use me to reach people in His name. Because if it would, because if it wouldn't be for that, us, me doing it in His name, uh, uh, I don't know how I would be able to afford these episodes. I don't know how I'd be able to do them. But it's through Him that we're able to do them. Like, well, what do I mean by whenever I say I don't know how, I don't know how I would be able to afford them to do these videos. These videos, yeah, they take money. See that camera right there? Oh, wait, no, you're using the camera, but you guys support, you guys, every, uh, like, I'm not going to say the exact percentage of my check that goes into uh, this, but the camera was about, uh, about $200, and the mic was about, uh, uh let's see. About a hundred fifty to two hundred. I I don't know. My memory is not that good. And if y'all want to test out that this is an Elgato, uh, snowball, and that is a Elgato face cam. Yeah. So uh, just we need to keep each other in our prayers, people. We need each other. We need each other. Absolutely, we need each other. Like that, uh, like that song goes, Holy, 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 it's Lord God Almighty. Yeah, holy, 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 well, in, G Egypt, well, in ancient I Israel times, ho saying something three times means that it was important. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so, I'm sorry I haven't been doing videos, like, gaming videos, like, these past few days, but I don't know if y'all gonna even notice that, because, you know, a bunch of people don't even watch that. Yeah, so I'm gonna just, I'm just doing this, just to do it, just to get it done, just doing that, what I was just doing, I was just emptying out my trash can. Not, you know, my computer trash can, not an actual trash trash can. Yeah, so, uh, just we need to keep each other in our prayers. We need each other. And... Don't get me wrong, it is good to pray for yourself, but whenever you're praying for somebody else, that just takes her. That, that just shows that you are, you know, a good and faithful servant. Because to me, that means that you, you can't, you're showing that you love for somebody else. Whether that be a friend, family member, co-worker, even a complete stranger. 
to show you love for somebody else. And to me, if you're doing it for a complete stranger, then that just that, that just says that uh, you're doing it, and you're doing it, and you're a good person. And listen, uh, don't get me wrong; it is good to pray for yourself, but whenever you are praying for somebody else, you know that just show, shows that you love. Like I just said, that you love them. I'm sorry, I'm uh, repeating myself. Yeah, so, uh, I don't know what I'm going to end on. I just would like to uh, share the word of God with y'all. Well, I just like sharing the word of God with y'all. And to me, that's my life calling, to share the gospel. Because to me, what other, other than praising and worshiping God, there is no point to life. And, and, uh, well, I think about it, there is a point, but it's serving his word. Like, what do I mean by serving his word? I mean, like, uh, pra praising and worshiping and, uh, and doing things like, uh, the Sabbath or, uh, you know, uh, having, uh, Christmas together with friends and family members and, Worshipping and honoring him. Yeah, so, um. Uh, we need to keep each other in our prayers, so. We need each other. We need each other. Listen, they have some questions that I'll never have the answer to them. Sometimes I wonder questions, but sometimes I'm like, you know, wh why even worry about that? Sometimes I have the questions, though, about, like, God, the Bible, and I'm like, you know, I'm not God, so I don't know everything. And let's face facts, I might never know everything. And, um, we need to be there. You know, uh, we're not going to always know everything. But that question, to me, not knowing everything also goes with uh, righteousness. Because we're admitting that we don't know everything and we're willing to learn. And what is the key, the key point to being righteous? Willing and willing to learn new things and an ability to admit that we don't know everything. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, just please, please keep, uh, people in your brain in your prayers. And please keep me in your prayers as well. I have high blood pressure. I've had thoughts of hurting myself or somebody else. Uh, I've had, uh, let's see, Tourette, I have Tourette, uh, I have, uh, I think that's it, oh yeah, I have floaters, I keep on, I always forget about floaters. Now, uh, let's bring that down. Now, let me explain what I have. I have high blood pressure, Tourette's, which means I have burning muscle movement sometimes. And sometimes I have, uh, like I might say something out loud. I have, uh, the whole mental stuff I just talked about. I don't really want to get into details about that. And I have floaters, which floaters is that is that that just is like seeing like these small little uh dots falling. When I say dots to me they look like snakes, but to other people they might look like dots. Yeah, so uh just keep each other in your prayers, people. We need to be there for one another.
We need each other. As human beings, we need each other. Sorry, I keep on hitting the mic. Uh, I guess I'm like, uh, like, I don't ever want these videos to end sometimes. Because I feel that God's using me to reach people in His name. And through him, uh, I can we can save people, not not by our means, not not by uh, our means. Like, what do I mean by our means? I mean that like we can't do it alone unless we do it with him through him. And uh, to me, that just means a lot. To me, that means that there's a God out there that loves me, that wants the best for me. But he's asking me, do I want the best for me? Because sometimes the answer is no. Sometimes we don't want that. We don't want that. Uh, like we want to, how shall I put this? We want to live in our arrogance. Sometimes we don't want to find out the truth. Sometimes we want to live with a lie. And I know that I'm sad and depressing and can seem hopeless, but it's the truth. And yeah, so uh, I guess I'll end it right here, folks. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Hey guys, if y'all like this video and y'all want to share the word of God, y'all can like and subscribe and comment. And if y'all want to donate some money, we have a Patreon page. Now the Patreon stuff starts at $3 a month, and it goes up to $25. And the reason why we do it monthly is because that gives us an idea of what we're going to be able to make, like, for the next month. Anyway, bye, guys.